Voila. It's like soup. It's like soup. Hey, welcome to my channel. My name is Tim. I'm a flooring and stair contractor. And today, we're going to head out to one of my job sites to put down some moisture seal on a concrete floor that's giving us some issues. I'm not playing around. I'm going right for one of the best products on the market so we don't take any chances. It's called Bostix MVP4. I've used it for years. In my opinion, it's probably the best product that you can use. And today, we're going to show you how to put it down. So without any further ado, let's hit it. So beautiful, you and me. We meant to be in the great outdoors. Free. So we are going with the Bostix MVP4 vapor sealing this entire room. Uh, we had a moisture content that varied anywhere from 6 to 12 percent and higher initially. It has subsided a little bit. Um, we're, we're basically under, under 10 everywhere now as low as 4 to 5 percent but as high as 6 to 8. So we don't want to take any chances. We're using a glue with a moisture barrier in it, the Bostix Green Force. But now we're also using the MVP, so double whammy, double moisture barrier. It needs it, and that's what we're doing. So now we're going to show you how to apply the MVP. Now, one of the biggest problems or things that I've seen done wrong with MVP is everybody wants to apply it with a flat trowel. Well, guess what? We don't do flat trowel on it. We do 3 16 by 5 30 second trowel. Uh, that gives us our desired thickness. If you flat trowel it, you don't get as enough thickness and you don't get enough of the MVP actually down. The MVP will self-level itself and blend itself in nicely, so most of the ridges will disappear. Let the trowel do the work. And it's important to use multiple trowels if you're doing large areas. You should get about one bucket per trowel, maybe a bucket and a half even. That'll give you the desired thickness. Uh, they usually say the thickness of a credit card. Now, let's watch Hunter go to work. Voila! It's like soup. One of the things you'll notice when you open the bucket is there's a layer on the top of liquidy oil that we like to mix in. Obviously, you don't have to use your hands like Hunter here. You could always use a paint stick, but we do like to mix it in. So one of the things that's really important is that you get 100% coverage. You can't miss any spots and you need to make sure you get all the way to the exterior walls especially. So I definitely recommend taking off the baseboards if you weren't planning on already taking them off. Also if you have a situation like we have here where there's a lot of furniture, make sure that you overlap the spreading of the NVP. It's just really important that you don't miss any areas and that you have 100% coverage if you want to get your warranty and guarantee against moisture. And then once you're done spreading it, allow 12 to 16 hours for it to cure before you install your glue. And you can use any Bostix adhesive over this product. In our situation here, our glue also has a moisture barrier on it, so we're double protected. Wow, so that's how we do it. Hunter is doing a great job, but it's easy. There's not much to it. As long as you use the right trowel, this product works. It actually forms a rubber over the whole floor, so you can't go wrong. This is foolproof. In fact, it even comes with a guarantee, a warranty against moisture, so it's a no-brainer. So we're really trying to grow our channel, and we need help from viewers like you. YouTube doesn't promote us as much as they should, so liking, sharing, subscribing and please turn those notifications on that helps more than you realize we also have a paypal is it still down it's down there still i just checked we have a paypal link down there We're trying to get some better camera and audio equipment if you're new around here be sure to check out some of our other content we have lots of great videos on how to install wood laminate and vinyl floors plus my favorite product reviews i review wood laminate and vinyl and i even put them head to head i run them over a dunk my smurge my do whatever it takes to find out which of these floors are best for you if you haven't subscribed yet, I want you to take out your favorite floor and mallet. Smash that subscribe button so you don't miss any future content. And thanks for watching.